here. It's SEMA the time again, 2015, and I'm in the fast booth with David Page. And you know what? You guys make a ton of stuff for the automotive guys. What about the marine guys? Well, there's a couple of unique considerations. An engine doesn't know whether it's in a car, truck, a boat, whatever application. Sure. But there are some special considerations for marine applications. All of our units are fully sealed, so the wet environment isn't really an issue. But a lot of marine applications run cooler than automotive applications because they're cooling the engines with lake water. And we all wish we could run our cars around on 100 degree water, right? All day long. And so one of the things that the Easy EFI uses, there's a coolant temperature threshold before it'll start learning. Sure. So for the marine application, we've simply lowered that threshold to make it work properly in the environment that it's going to be put into. Awesome. That's a nice touch. And I also see something here. Something dedicated for marine applications, right? Absolutely. Another issue with marine application is because the exhaust is typically cooled by water, it sometimes presents a challenge on where do you put the O2 sensor? O2 How do you sensors get... and water are not a good mix, right? Not good at all. So what we've got is two different options. One is a spacer that's specific to most the most common marine manifold pattern. Sure. You simply put this spacer in place between the manifold and the riser and you've got a place to put your O2 sensor. Nice. Allows you to mount it without problems, right? Absolutely. Okay, David, you guys got the automotive guys covered, you got the marine guys covered, so where can a guy go to find all the information on both those applications? Go to fuelairspark.com.